Hey. That was fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's one o'clock. Do you want to talk a little bit about what we discussed there? Or the end of the story here? Sure. All right. So compared to elsewhere, missing beats, missing characters, in my opinion. Agreed. I think that they could have repurposed some characters and made it a lot more adventure-esque. Yeah. My um, big thing is, like, it feels like you're missing crazy. something. Well, okay, one thing I would have done. Maybe this would be good, maybe this would be bad, but I probably would have taken Mog's character and changed him up a bit. And I would change the sword thing, and here's what I'm thinking. The sword thing uh, could have been a Reachman, like a Reachman disguise or uh, like a go-between. But he's the one who introduces the king over to the Grey Host. Right. And the orc there lost like a competition to get the, get the position of a sword thing. That would then that would then tie him in to have a reason why he's like drinking all the time, and how he like yeah. meets the princess. Then he has his character arc of being a drunk, and now he's going to get back his honor from losing the fight and all that stuff, and... He becomes the next sword thane for the woman there, and we eliminate the idiotic one that we had barely any character development on. Yeah... Most, most of the reasoning I was like, I was like, why are you here? What? Yeah. Yeah, he had no, he had no purpose in this entire story. I think he could have done that and not ha hurt any of the overall story that we had there yeah the father i can't uh, i can't make too many tra like changes because you don't know what the epilogue is going to be about you don't know what this second part of the dlc is going to be about yeah but if i could at least change some things what i the beats that i felt there the betrayal that he had there take out the assassin like take out the assassination leave the mother alive for a bit have them both hate, hate, absolutely hate Joran. Like, they can't stand him. They don't want to do anything with him. From there, go over and be like, okay, he hates them, uh, but the Skull King, uh, but the High King decides to send, you know, send or agree to bring in Eastern troops there to help with the Reachmen. The entire plan, though, is to sacrifice both the East and Western sides to the Harrow Storm to get more stuff. That way it makes a little bit more sense about what's going on. He's being a little bit more tricky with everything. He's inviting them in to like, you know, eat their souls and all that stuff and give their sacrifice up to the Grey Host. That would have been a much more major move. That would have also tied in Skull King for the reason he's coming into this damn place. Other than, oh, I just felt like it's to help Skyrim and all that stuff, so I came to help. Yeah, the weary traveler. Yeah, like, or, like... There was no reason for him to be there, was there? Like, why didn't he no. just just go there to start with? He, like, he should. Nobody called him in or anything. Yeah, like if Lyris was like, or he's like, oh, I got Lyris's reports, and we saw the shit that was going down here. We decided to come and help out. That would have at least been something, right? Right. Like that would have been like, oh, okay. You saw what was going down in Morthal. You saw that we lost a, we lost an entire keep. You came in to help. We get it, but no. Or if 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 when they realized that the the witch pikes were below Skyrim and they couldn't get into the thing, theirs was like, this is getting too big right now. Uh, I gotta get sent to the Skull King. I'm sending a messenger out now. We'll go we'll go hit Blackreach in the meantime. Yeah. Perfectly understandable. It just feels like it felt like the story jumped around too much is how, kind of how i feel about it like it was like it, popcorn it, it, yeah it, it it went from one beat to another beat it felt like they were missing areas and I, i'm just trying to figure out what some of the stuff was what the fuck exactly okay i'm i'm Okay, come down here, please. Uh, my way. I, I don't know if you can see these guys, but... Yeah. 
Are you outside the gate? No, I'm down in the, uh... I I'm down in the Thieves' Guild, and... <sighs> Sigh. It feels like this, this chapter needed a little bit more time in the oven. Yeah, much agreed. I feel like it was rushed to... There's... Like, there's a lot of bugs with some of the quests here, but I'm, right now I'm looking at one of the biggest bugs I can see that are, that's in the distance to see it. Have you figured out the uh, Thieves' Guild? Or not the, the Dark Brotherhood quest on this character? Uh, not on this character. I only done, like, where I got to the sacraments. Oh, well, come on down here. We'll see if you can see them. All right, and then uh, let's see the other issues of that too. The Harrowstorm, like the Harrowstorm mechanic, it, it's interesting. I get it. Uh, it. It would have been better though if they had. It's a MacGuffin, right? And they didn't really explain it, and they didn't really follow the rules. Yeah, that too. All right, did you see, did you see this NPC? No, I just see the statue thing. Ah, oh, damn. Because if you see this oh. MP... It's that guy, I can unlock it real quick. Hold on. Wait, no, no, you can see him? No, but it's the shadowy supplier, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I can't. There we go. You see him? Yeah. Okay, come down here with me. Do you see him? What? What? You turn and look upstairs and see see both of them in they're both their names in the same frame. Because I can. <laughs> this is like that Spider-Man meme. <laughs> yeah. The, you there, you there. <laughs> <laughs> You. The fuck? The fuck? Can I ask for double potion? I, I, I was just making sure it wasn't me that was uh, messing up like that. Yeah, I just feel like this chapter was very rushed in general because like there's so many bugs. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of mistakes. I think I think that most of all, it just has a lot of like QA testing needs to go through. Yeah. I feel like they didn't have enough people going through on. But it's not just it's it, to me. It's not just the testing. It's not just the rush. It's like certain decisions just weren't made to think coherently. It's a. It feels like a bad script, wrote part of this here, and they just got to go back through and redo parts of it here. To give it like a better theatrical feel, give it a better overall like I was gonna find builders. Jesus. And I don't I don't like to I don't like to bad mouth or say like horrible things on the chapter here, but there are like some glaring things I would have changed here because if it if it simply doesn't work because of mechanics, that's one thing. If it's a bad choice because you're like looking at it and be like, why didn't you just step two seconds to the right there and like avoid that or do that or that's bad script writing, you know? Yeah. I wonder if it's like because of the like the whole quarantine thing too, because like what if they're understaffed and No, like... this was made before that. No? This was made it before was? that, yes. Yeah, so this was a BTS before that. And also this was like this was like showcased at PAX East. Or no, PAX East or PAX West, I can't remember which. Touche. People could see this, but like, let, let's think back at the uh, the whole princess thing, right? Yeah. Like, why the fuck? Why the fuck was she going down into Blackreach when she's never been there before? She's she's investigating what, what what I'd say is probably the most dangerous part. And Ben and Lyris aren't thinking like, well, fuck, guys, we shouldn't be doing this. 
Should we be sending the queen? Should we be sending the queen of like the princess of of solitude? Because you know, if we fuck up here, somebody's gonna be pissed off with us. Like if we kill a princess here, that could cause an international incident. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of it could have been done better. I don't think, think necessarily better, but just different on a lot of things. Yeah. Ooh, Hairstorm. Ooh. On me. Hopefully we can get there in time. Probably not, though. We'll see. Princess tend to do that international incidents, yeah. Now let's also compare this to elsewhere too. Like we empowered a, a we had a lost princess who was hidden, who then rose to power and got anointed as queen, all in her one chapter, right? Right. This one we had a princess that we knew about, got her to stop being drunk, and then now we had her do a funeral service at the end. That's... that was the difference. Ah, oh, oh, damn. Done. Uh, end of the east one here, maybe. Like, the, the arc and the, the climax to her ascension there is just nothing, right? Like, she's not yeah. empowered, she's still under the rule of Skull King, etc. Who's probably gonna take, come, come in with the armies and, like, occupy at one point here, once, uh, once everything's, like, settled. Like, he says he's not going to do anything, but, I mean, let's be honest. Like, the first time that he- she complains and says she's not going to do something, he's just going to be like, well, fuck you, I got a bigger army now. Yeah. Also, we didn't- we didn't see the fall of- of Karthwatch here. We just ended up at the end here, which I don't mind, but I would have liked to prefer to like seeing like, okay, here it is. Oh, we fucked up. Everyone, everything's getting torn asunder. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And then for the characters, well, I don't know what you could do. You had you had Cadwell there, and you had Abner Tharn. Two very strong characters, right? Right. In this one here, we had Lyris, who is a strong character to get into. But then her sidekick on this was... Ben, who didn't really have much introduction before this. Yeah. And they don't really see them working together. You always see them split up. Like, you very, very... Like... What are the scenes you remember her, uh, Fen and Lyris working together? Ever. Like... The first time that, the first time that he's like, hey, step away from her, bloodsucker. Yeah. And then, oh, you have a cure? Okay, make the cure. And, and oh, and, and hit her saving him. Yeah. What do you have to say? You kept my beloved Humvir alive and gave us hope know. for his sister. I just uh. feel like just anything wasn't too in-depth. It was like all surface. If if you get what I mean. Superficial, like nothing had an impact. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I also didn't let the, the whole plot with like undermining and the, the entire thing is right below solitude. It seemed weird. Yeah. Like what was the point of like digging the hole there if the entire thing is, if the entire thing is a witch pike, right? Right. Why did they have to dig up into solitude? I don't know. You know what this feels like? Yeah. What? You know those children's freaking cartoons that come on early in the morning and they make no fucking sense? That's what this feels like. <laughs> 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 like, it doesn't make any you sense at all half of the time. Or shall I savor this drink? Yeah. Or what shall I do for it just I feels dumbed down, I guess.
Well, they had to include something. They had it for for the other. Somebody's mentioned that's when they included the antiquities minigame. Well, they included also the the uh, the other chapters. They included a class and uh, jewelry crafting. And let's see what else did they do. Yeah, okay, so they did a class, a skill line, a class, a skill line. So that's been the that's been the chapter so far. I don't think the, I don't think the antiquity system was that it definitely was a, a needed improvement for like a mini game like distraction thing. And I think it's people are disagreeing with me, but I think it's online with everything else here. Up here. Ooh, I've never been here, I don't think. Oh, it's just a shortcut, okay. Yeah. Looking for a guy that has meat skewers here. I knew I saw him somewhere. Yeah, you puke it out. Gross. It's like skeever meat kebabs. I saw him here before, though. I know. I also think they should have redone some of the, the villains there. Like I said, making the High King the villain in it would have been a lot better if you made it so like you had to like investigate him, see why he's going away all the time. See where yeah. the, uh, you know, make it seem like the, uh, yeah. the Reachman is like feeding him bad, the uh, Thor Thane's feeding him bad information when he's actually already like thrown his lot in with it. Yeah. Personally addictive like fentanyl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, better villains would probably be better. The villains I can remember would definitely be better. Yeah. Also, other... Like, the villains in the last one, we had dragons, right? Before that, right. we had... The Sea Sloads. And Nimir... Yeah. And, and the whole, like... Uh, Nimira, Malakath, and shit. What's the other one? That's no, not Malakath. It was a uh, shit. Himaris Mor. No, not Himaris Mori. Uh, shit, what's the danger god of? What's the danger god of uh, schemes? Not schemes. Uh, of like bad deals. Uh, 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 uh No, no, it's Prince of Madness. I don't remember. Meru, uh, Meru's Dagon? Hmm. No. It, I'm never gonna remember it. Uh, but anyways, they had like the three danger, uh, three danger princes for, for Somerset. Uh, before that, you had Morrowind, and you had to deal with Hemer, uh, you had to deal with more danger princes and all that stuff. In this one, you had to deal with the vampires, werewolves, and witches. We only saw the gray host take hold and like resurrect one of those statues the entire thing here yeah oh oh was it clavicus vile that's it clavicus vile yes but, never yeah. remember his name <laughs> i remember his dog yes everyone remembers his goddamn dog <laughs> Yeah, and, and it, that seemed like bigger stakes than all the other ones here. This one, we didn't see the... Like, if we saw more of those gray reliquaries become, like, sentient, I think we would have had, like, a lot more of, like, an oh fuck moment, you know? Yeah. Like an oh shit, look at this, it's a fucking huge threat. No, like, okay, we dealt with one vampire lord in the top of the thing here at the climax of this, but we didn't see, like, a werewolf combining with that. So... It's hard to say, though, because I don't know what the next DLC is going to entail. But I'm hoping it's going to tie up and give a better epilogue to everything here. Yeah, nothing just felt like... nothing was like a threat. It just... Well... Again, it was just superficial. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, in certain ways there, definitely. I just would've... I, I would've like, liked to see that, like... Like, they could've included Molag Ball, for example. They could've had him have it be like... What is he doing here? Why is he doing this? And like included like a small 
portion of Cold Harbor. And we go back there and we talk to him and be like, who is this guy? And he's just like, the Pewter Immortals. I have no interest in this. This man, you know, these guys are trying to escape from Cold Harbor. They could have given a much better backstory to everything that was going on here, I think. Yeah. Because it definitely sounds like he wasn't he wasn't in bed with with uh, Molag Ball. That's for sure. Certain. <laughs> yeah. You just thought of you just thought of him and in Ball and Ball in bed, didn't you? No. You did. <laughs> you totally did. <laughs> My brain just does these things. Ball and Ball with that like big gaping maw and those like. <laughs> That snarling faith. <laughs> you don't want him going down on you. He's got no lips. It's all teeth there, baby. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I... I I would have liked this better with more stuff to the main story that had a better s story to it in general. I think the side quests were good. I think they could have probably expanded more on it. I definitely think they should have made it so Blackreach was much more of a... Holy shit, we just got here. We couldn't just, like, walk into the front gates. Like, I I am I wrong there, too? Like, we have... Yeah. One, two, three... Entrances, four entrances there. Or like if we got kidnapped, like all the other freaking people who got a bag put over their head to get there. Yeah. Know? Yeah, that would absolutely have been good too. I think you could have had it so like we could have gone through maybe a, you know, you, you would have had to find some like dormer, dwarven, whatchamacallit. Yeah. Unlock the, uh, the, unlock the elevators and get yourself down there. That's why it's so hard to find. Otherwise, people would just find these things randomly and be like, hey, I wonder what this lover does. Holy shit, I'm in Blackreach. They only talked about this in Fables. <laughs> no, no, it's easy, guys. Just go up to the, just go up to this little thing here, hit a lover, and you're down there. Yeah. What? And on top of that, they were also, like, having, like, common... <sighs> Not to say I didn't d dislike it. I liked this story with the, the wife and the husband there that was going on, like, one last adventure. But... How did him and the miners end up down there? Yeah. That made no sense. Like, if it, it would have made more sense, like, if they made the mine up top, and he, they were like, hey, if you, we think we found something here. There's chittering going on down here. And they ended up, like, mining their way into Blackreach. Yeah. That would have made more sense to me. Not just like, not just like, oh, we have a mining, mining thing down there. When there's another mining town that's trying to get exclusive rights to it. Like... Did they talk about this together? <laughs> like somebody? Somebody talk together- talk about it, please? Yeah... I, d I don't... It just seems disjointed is the best thing I can put it as. And yeah. then... And then the whole... Like, like I said, the Crown Crete tobacco where the glue for stuff is nice but it ties in nothing it doesn't tie anything into the the stuff that's in black reach the the gloom spore did not look like anything that comes through it's blue it's a black blue color for black reach and those things are just black rain i i saw those crates and i was expecting that we we're gonna have some type of mushroom like quest or something like that and like we had nothing <laughs> yeah and then the next crown crates that we have coming out here have things like cursed senech and cursed skin like people it, it just looks more vampirish than any of this other stuff right now yeah things we should have had yes exactly so it just yeah it feels really disjointed feels like something got messed lost in translation on some of this stuff here and i don't really know where that issue came from on top of it yeah. i'm i'm going back to the trailers and everything they showed us and trying to think like it was kind of representative of what this chapter was 
But like, okay, think about that the trailer and think about what you saw here. You saw the werewolf one, right? Yeah. So how many werewolves did we actually fight? <laughs> uh, not counting the world bosses. Well, we had one. We had like one that burst from the reliquary, right? We dealt with. We had the reach witches. We had the one ice, the one reach witch that turned into a werewolf. We didn't really deal with the necromantic uh, werewolf plan at all. We dealt with them back in Unhallowed Grave. But we didn't see any like follow-up to them at all. <laughs> but yet they were a major part to that one part there. And then after they fight through those werewolves that were just surrounding the area, then we they the soldiers went into a huge like arena with like the vampires and the vampire lord but that doesn't seem to happen at all yeah see it looks like the danger that we felt in the trailer we didn't feel at all in this and like i feel like i don't know i don't know it seems to sum up a lot of the chapter yeah <laughs> I just feel like there's a lot of lost opportunities in this chapter. Yeah, very much so. I do like the area. I, I think the castle could have also been... I feel like the vampire stuff could have also been handled differently too. Yeah. Like put another, like we had Ravenwatch here. We could have had like another vampire clan in here trying to resist. We had werewolves trying to resist, but none of the vampires seemed to want to, though. I'd like to hear more about the Raven Watch. Like, that would have, like, if they were a little more incorporated. Yeah, we got two quests for them. I think that you could have, you could put either one of them in there as a main character to substitute in and add into the cast. Yeah. Gwendis was definitely loved by a lot of people. I think Asa Nodono was also pretty good as well. Take their stuff and make it from side quest into main quest. You probably would have had a solid like foundation there. Also give, gives more trite credence or um, support to the Fenendrin because like he's only kind of like a fledging a new guy to the to the organization. Yeah. Those two are veterans, but yet you never see them in the same area. It's like they didn't even talk to each other about being there. <laughs> Yeah. Freaking low Finn. Mm -hmm. Also think they could have incorporated more of the dwarven stuff too in some way. Yeah. Like dwarven technology is helping us do this and with that you could have included a lot more uh, characters as well. Much agree. Oh. That's great, more. Until we get the uh, next chapter. Yeah. Overall, I'd probably say it'd be worth it on sale. Yeah. Definitely like the uh, antiquity system. Definitely like some of the items that come out of it as well. But story-wise, lacking in my opinion compared to elsewhere. I understand that they're not going to do a hit. Uh, you know, a winner for every chapter. We're gonna have to see what the DLC has and what the epilogue is gonna be to give a final vote on it. But definitely felt there was holes in it. So far, yep. three out of five. Three out of five for you. So it's just about average. Yeah. I don't know. I I hate giving like numbers on things. I like to like cut. Uh, uh, I like to categorize things on like what I what interests me, but. Yeah. Hmm. Just overall, I guess, because like it was great, but there's like a lot of things that could have been done differently, and like, yeah. What's your high points then? My high point? Mm -hmm. Just like the zones, like the zones were great, and some of the characters were great, and the quests, it, and it's just it's just the story, and like the bugs. That's. That's what got me. 
some of the bugs are always going to be there despite the chapter so i don't i don't know where to categorize that i mean it, this one's extra buggy though uh which was the biggest bug for you then The latency the first few days definitely had had an impact, but that got that got patched away. Well, For, and then like the loading screen thing was an issue, but like they they kind of fixed that. Yep. And then there's been a lot of times where like when we were doing the same quest that it had the fucking issue. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it definitely felt like they didn't do any testing with part like people people quested together in Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. They, they didn't have people like, you know, friends playing together to get this stuff done. Yeah. Which caused a lot of issues, I think. Yeah, and then like on top of that, there were several quests where like, they weren't talking. Or they weren't there, or they had people like two people, two people of the same area, so you heard double dialogue. Yeah. Those did yeah. get annoying and that distracted from the overall questing, definitely. Yeah. I think the only other one I noticed was that I was seeing textures take a while to load if I ran too fast into an area. Yeah, that too. But I don't know if that was my settings or something with it itself. They definitely have to address that at some point. Yeah. For me, for high points though, let's see. Definitely like some of the bosses. Like the Harrow Storms as a new element or a uh, thing to go to. Yeah. Likes, huh? like some of the main characters. Like, like, like the fact that we go back to the rest and all that stuff. But I'm still wondering who we're going to get for the second chapter of this. Mm. Do you like the integration with the vampirism? Like you can tell people that you are a vampire or not. Yeah. Or like, if you're a werewolf, do things like slightly different. Do wish I could, um, do you like the mini game though? Diggy Hole is definitely a fun get mini game to do and adds a new element to the game, I think. The screen? Yes. We call it Diggy yeah. Hole. Diggy Hole? Yes. I love it, but like... It's it's grindy when you're trying to get the levels, but... I mean, what isn't? Oh, there's an, oh, there's also an add-on you can use to help you search up for the leads, too. Ooh? Yeah, I I'll put a, put a Discord there. Yeah. Definitely like it. Um... That, that, that... Trial's, a, trial's an interesting one, I like it. Uh, but the set out of it, so so I feel. Yeah. Doesn't fit my playstyle. I'm sure some min maxers probably have a good build for it though. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Everyone likes to trial, I'm sure. Everyone likes to do end game. That's what I, to I get told about these MMOs. Story doesn't matter. It's all about end game. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, but I do like the, I do like the fact that the trial is a bit more than Cloudreach was, and is a bit more than what uh, Sunspire was. It actually has like stages to it. You actually have to go through something to get to uh, get to the end. Yeah. Is that the one where I didn't get there until the end because I bricked up or something? You got pulled into the end gear because we had somebody that like left halfway through. Yes. Yeah, that's what it was. I might run a right might run a normal sometime this weekend or something like that. But yeah, because yeah. I didn't get to see much of it, so you know I want to go see. Yep, it had a few interesting mechanics too. Not just one shot mechanics, which everyone kind of hates in these things. Also like the changes to vampire uh, vampire abilities in this, but that's more of an overall game change. Yeah. Uh, like the werewolf changes as well. Something else there that I liked. Oh, we also got the pet a dog. Definitely an important yes. change. That's the, that's the most important thing of all. Now, 
if only we could pet other people's pets. <laughs> maybe, like... if they're, maybe if they're in the houses, but I think that'd be difficult to do if they're running around. Pretty true. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of fun. Just everybody stop and pet somebody's pet. Mm -hmm. And I do definitely love the nostalgia factor to this as well. Yeah. A lot, of this take, a lot of this has good references over to Skyrim and everything else. I think they could have tied in more, but overall, I think it's not bad. I'm sure they're going to actually tie in more with the next chapter as well. Yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering. Because won't the next one have, like, a good old white run in it? I don't know. I think they're going to include at least Falkreath and maybe White Run. Maybe we're going to see, uh, shoot, what's the start? People are going to hate me for not remembering the goddamn start of Skyrim, but I'm trying to remember the keep that we're going to. It's okay, I don't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. We were, we were being yeah. taken to the fort there and it gets destroyed by the dragon the first, the first uh, few steps. What if we visit yeah. that in this, in this next uh, DLC? Can I see Al do it? I don't think you're gonna see a dragon, but I just see you get to see the keep before it gets destroyed. Yeah. But like, what if we got a chance to visit Alduin's grave? Because this is before he comes back, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, we could probably do that or visit more dragon mounds to see things yet too. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> the mound. Oh, well, that's the kind of, that's the review of uh, After Graymore, guys.